Hello everybody and a very good morning, good afternoon. Welcome along to Crofters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on day three of our Club Inspire Jubilee event. Of course, uh, celebrating the Jubilee here in the UK. Second bank holiday today as we head into the official weekend, but lots going on as far as celebrations are concerned up and down the country. And we thought we would join in and celebrate with you here on Crafters TV. So whether you're in the UK, whether you're watching in the US or wherever you might be, uh, there's plenty of reasons to stay and shop with us over the course of the next three days. And I'll tell you for why, because there's loads of benefits, loads of um, deals as well. If you're not yet a Club Inspire member, this is the perfect opportunity to sign up and join. Um, it's free to join our club, which is the, the main thing to tell you. You go to our website, you click on the Club Inspire tab, you fill in your email address, your name, you create a password and you're in. And on a normal day, we'll give you 20% off your first order, you're gonna get that. 250 points to get you started off as a bronze member on purchases uh, following on from your first purchase, you still get that. Uh, but what we're doing over the course of the next three days, if you sign up before the end of Sunday, we'll put five pounds, five dollars or five euros into your account at the end of the event so you'll have that to spend afterwards which is amazing once you're signed up you'll then get the opportunity to take advantage of uh, everything else that our club inspired members uh, have got over the course of this event things like for example double points we're going to be giving you that but on the website things like <laughs> sorry <laughs> Double points, right? First of all, on all of your orders. You've also got on the website right now three for twos on a whole host of things that you'll want. Things like adhesives. You'll have three for twos on your Gemini accessories as well. And also, if you check out the website, you'll find three for twos uh, on select paper and cardstock as well. So a great way to be stocking up. What else do I get over the course of the event? I hear you cry. What else do I get? Well, you get... Half price shipping if you're a US customer. You also get free standard UK delivery as well, which is amazing. Um, so that's worth taking a note of. A great opportunity particularly to stock up on those three for twos and not worry about um, the, the shipping cost mounting up. And you're also gonna get a free gift. Now, if you're saying to me, well, hang on a minute, I spent 10 pounds, $10 yesterday. I've already got the free gift. Ah. That's where, you, I mean, you are, I was gonna say, that's where you're wrong. That is where you're right. However, the free gift changes each and every day. Uh, today's free gift is this here, a portable craft tool bag, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so basically, uh, get shopping, spend a tenner, and uh, you'll get this added into your cart for free. Uh, you know, nice little tool bag, pop your pens in there. A lot of people chatting about that uh, being a nice little makeup bag as well. Uh, it's free when you spend £10, $10. Uh, do not miss out today. And that free gift, of course, will change again tomorrow too. I think I've covered off most things there. One thing I did want to mention, which I didn't talk about a little bit earlier on, vote Mosby, vote Mosby, vote Mosby. The uh, Craft Awards is here, the Best of Craft Awards 2022. Vote Mosby, vote, Mo I mean, you can vote Remblance Laird or Aiken if you want, but vote Mosby. Uh, no, here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, the Best of Craft Awards 2022 nominations are up, so you can get nominating your favorites in a whole host of categories. That's the male, uh, the, uh, male personality of the year. Here's the female personality of the year as well oh no uh, vote Swan vote McCarthy vote Swan vote McCarthy uh, vote for whoever you want there's lots of other awards if you go to our website you'll find the link where you can get nominating right now it's quite a big it says it takes seven minutes to fill out you basically nominate in the categories that you want to nominate in if there's categories that you don't want to nominate in you can just click the OK button on the questionnaire and it moves you on to the next one uh, and then at the end of the questionnaire you basically pop in your address you pop in your email and you are done so you can nominate uh, up until the 6th of June and then on the 14th of July we'll find out who has actually got through the nomination process and who uh, you can be voting for in the final rounds and of course there's things like favorite TV channel favorite gadget it's all in there have a look uh, but we thank you in advance for your nominations vote Mosby 
Um, right, uh, it's not just me over the course of the next couple of hours. We're here for the softer side of life. So if you are, love your soft craft, you're in for a treat. If you're sort of on the edge, on the periphery thinking, oh, I might get into a bit of soft craft, this is the show to watch because you will learn a lot. And actually today, we've got some really, really great deals and deals that I think might get you into doing a bit of soft craft. Taking us through all of those deals, uh, one of my absolute favorites, she's looking uh, very, very uh, jubilee-y uh, today with her Jubilee uh, Rosette, vote sworn, uh, and she's also got her fantastic crown on. It is uh, Queen Becky. Oh, thank you very much. I love the fact that I'm one of your favourites because you say that's about everybody. Oh, but I only mean it to certain yeah. people. Mm, I don't know. So, yeah, we've got these fantastic um, craft dies to make these flowers. So, this is an example of one of the things that you can make. So, these are made out of felt. They run through your Gemini or your die cutting machine. They're lots of little dies. So, this is just one of the flowers you can get. We've wow. got two sets and you can make three different types of traditional flowers but there's nothing to stop you from making some crazy flowers and um, you could use different colors um, all sorts of um, different kinds of bits and pieces that you might want to do this is a little bit of decoration on a tote bag um, so you can use this for all sorts of things and because there are multimedia dies you can also use them for card as well so if you are a paper crafter you can make some flowers like this as embellishments on your cards Absolutely gorgeous, and this is what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, you've got the opportunity to get these into your life if you are someone perhaps who's more uh, paper craftery. But uh, we'll be exploring all of that over the course of this show. As always, do get in touch if you uh, have any questions at all. You can uh, say hello to us on the socials. As a by the by, if you do get in touch with us and comment, ask a question, say hello, tell us what you're shopping for, we will automatically put you into a draw, which we will do in uh, launch day from six o'clock this evening, uh, where we'll be giving away a goodie bag to someone who's just left us a comment today. I'll show you that goodie bag a little bit later on, but all you have to do is send a comment in on Facebook or YouTube. Um, already in with us uh, saying hello from the south of France is Jane L. Safty. Good afternoon, Jane. Afternoon to Laurie, who's in from Wisconsin. Daryl's in from St. Helens. Uh, and Irina Vanna says good morning. Hello to Laura May. Hello to Crafty Angie. Hello to Pammy, who says morning again, Becky and Ben from central New York. Um, Paige says, that is so cute on Facebook. I think that must have been what you just showed. Oh, the, 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 all the flowers that I've been cutting yeah. out. I've had a lovely time cutting out felt flowers. Um, that's pretty much all I've done. I haven't fed my children at all this week. Yee. Hashtag awkward. Uh, <laughs> Lynn says, love the sunflowers. Uh, Pammy says, I have these in my cart. They are fabulous. Well, let's have a look at them. Let's have a see of everything that you are going to get uh, within this particular collection. Here it is. Um, it is uh, brand new. You can pick it up today for an unbelievable deal. Uh, we'll get the details coming up for you on the screen right now. But it is um, that amazing collection. Uh, oh. We did this, which, wait, what, wait, hey, what, what, what? We're gonna have a look at this first of all, and then we'll come to the storage template set in just a second. So um, basically, brand new uh, multimedia dies, which allow you to create some amazing, amazing projects, whether or not you are gonna be decorating uh, home decor pieces, whether you're going to be decorating things like, oh, I must just mention um, uh, your photo frames as well, which I'll show you in just a few moments' time. But you're going to get your two die sets. Uh, you've got your uh, beautiful blooms, and then you've got your fabulous flowers. So it's 27 dies in total. You're also going to get, you're also going to get your felt in there as well and 17 sheets of by the way and you've got uh, those um, accessories as well so it brings you things like um, your uh, key rings you've got little uh, felt balls in there as well um, and so much more 33.59 or 45.20 is the platinum price on that also qualifies you for your free gift as well this is a great crossover product. You know, if you're a soft crafter uh, who wants to, the ability to be able to use these with your papers, you can do, but then you've got something which you can use with your felt, use it with your materials as well. Uh, so you're kind of getting a little bit of soft craft in there um, as well. We'll explore that in just a few moments time. Must just remember to show you also that if you do like the look of these, um, there's a blog project which I think has just gone up on our website uh, from our Liam who's used this set to create that beautiful frame. That's a lovely way of being able to use them, isn't it? 
pretty. I mean, if you've got a, uh, maybe you want to send somebody a, a gift for their wedding, you want a, a photograph of the bride and groom in that little corner, you can have some flowers decorated all in sort of white felts, that kind of thing. So it's so versatile. And obviously, when we come up to Christmas, you could be using this kind of thing for making sort of Christmas themed flowers. There's all sorts of things you could do with this. Um, you'll find details of that on our uh, website and via our socials as well uh, right now. It will be going live very, very soon indeed, will that blog project. Um, lots of love for that collection. Lots of love also coming in for our storage, uh, storage template collection. A four-piece set is this, uh, where you're also going to receive a, um, a binding tool. But this, again, is um, really, really handy and really, really inexpensive as well, because uh, what you've got here is the ability um, with these templates to be able to create some amazing projects. Um, so you've got your storage caddy template, first of all, within this set. You've got everything that you need on the um, back as far as what you're gonna need to be able to complete the projects. You've got your sewing workstation too. Uh, and then lastly in this collection your sewing organizer those three templates or three sets i should say come with um your binding tool too under 20 pounds uh under 24 dollars if you're platinum as well um where are we as far as kind of um you know levels of expertise when it comes to soft craft using these are these are these good for people just getting started yeah absolutely they're very simple they're, they're, they're not going to be um, too difficult to make I think if you're going to start off by using one and you've never sewn before this is the um, the caddy the storage oh, cool. caddy and I'm going to be making this um, a little bit later well in a few minutes actually but I'm going to make a Jubilee themed one but if you've never sewn before this would be the ideal one for you to start with which is the sewing organizer so you've got little um, pockets to put your, your um, scissors um, or your sewing bits and pieces, little pin cushion here. Now this is really simple to start off with and it doesn't require um, too much wadding or any kind of sort of structure in it because it's quite a soft um, item to make. Yeah. So this would be absolutely ideal. Obviously you've got the little um, zip pockets to do. Zips aren't too difficult, you just need to ha use your zipper foot. Um, but there's plenty of videos on YouTube if you do get a, you know, a bit confused. But this one would be an absolute ideal thing to start off with because then obviously you can put all your sewing bits and pieces yeah. in there and um, so that's that one um, and then you've also got this this is the um, workstation organizer so this is the thing that would hang up so if I hold it up you could probably see a little bit oh, better cool. here so you would put your cutting mat here and yeah. then you've got all these little places to pop your bits and pieces so when you're finished you just sort of fold it up and you just hang it up on a hook and I think this would be really great if you um, you've not got a lot of space in your crafting room this would be great for you if you, you're traveling maybe you're going away on a um on, not necessarily a cruise it's unlikely you'll be doing any sewing on a cruise isn't it but, might do. but I, I, you might do but if you're perhaps in a, in a caravan or something like that where you you know you're going to have the opportunity to do a little bit of crafting when the weather's you know inclement this would be ideal because you can keep everything all stored here but the the one that i'm going to do today is this one here which is your sewing organizer which has got all these little pockets around the outside and this one the only reason i say I wouldn't start with this one is because you're going to be sewing around in a curve which is yeah. a, a, not a challenge but it's a little bit hard and they're sewing something completely flat and you do have to have some kind of wadding or something in here to give it a bit of structure and um, so that's why I would say but you know start with that one but absolutely anyone could make this it's easy to do you've got a little um, buttonhole here which you could do on your sewing machine but if you didn't want to do that you could always put a snap fastener here or you could just sew these pieces together you know, yeah. there's nothing to stop you from doing that so I'll get my bits and pieces out so I can show you what I've done okay so I thought I'd go for a kind of jubilee themed because I thought actually this shape is really quite good for putting cans of drink in when you're going to a, a picnic this I'm is what I thought like in your, um, your train of thought you know there. I'm thinking I mean, it's not quite the right size for a bottle of Prosecco, but, but you know, you could probably fit, put five or six bottles in there, though, couldn't you? Yeah, you could fit your little cans of drinks in there and your sandwiches, and this makes oh. quite a nice um, little kind of um, picnic bag yes. um, for the Jubilee weekend. So I'll show you what you'll get inside your pack. So on the back of this, it'll show you all the fabric that you need and all the um, other sort of emotions, as it were, um, like a button, a heat erasable pen, all those sorts of things um, about putting this together. And when you look at the template, you'll see it's actually very, very simple. 
I can't quite see that there. Let's put that there. I might be able to see that bit better through here. So you can see you've only got these few little shapes. You've got this um, big circular piece, and then you've got these sort of over overlapping areas. So yeah. basically, you'll start off with the main panel of the bag, and you're going to do the base of the bag, and you've got the two handles, and then you've got the pockets. So it's really simple. It's only sort of a, a few pieces to make. But all the information is contained inside your little booklet. And when you open it up, keep turning everything around, don't I? When you open it up, it will show you, in, highlighted in red, which area um, relates to which piece of the the um, template here. So you can see that you're, when you're cutting out the main panel, um, we're going to be cutting out this shape that goes all the way around like this. And it will give you how many of each you need to cut out. So whether you're going to be cutting things out of interfacing, when you're going to be cutting them out of wadding, um, lining fabric, contrasting fabric, all of that information is here for you. Now it really depends on how what you're going to be using it for as to what kind of thing you want to put inside it. Yeah. If you want it very, very rigid, you'll use some kind of foam or you use some heavy duty um, wadding or similar to that. And the one I've done here, I've actually not used any interfacing because I decided I didn't need it. Um, but you just, you'll, you'll work out the kind of fabric that you're using. If you're using something quite thick, maybe a denim, you probably won't want any interfacing or perhaps any kind of wadding in there anyway because it's quite sturdy. Mm. So what I've done is I've already cut out my pieces. So I've cut out my little pockets. Oh, so these are my Jubilee fabric. fabric that we had on the show a few weeks ago. So I don't know if we've got any left, but I, ha I had a few, few pieces. So what I've done is I've cut four pieces of these and I've sewn them together. So I've got um, the fabric on both sides and I've just to top stitched over the top and I've done that with both of those pieces here. So these are going to make the contrasting pockets that go around the outside. So I thought this would be great when you're using it as a picnic um, picnic container yes. or something similar. You Drink. can put all your cutlery in here, um, maybe your, I don't know, packets of crisps, something like that, yeah. you know, yeah. sausage rolls, all oh, sorts of things. Roll. We were saying earlier, weren't we, it's a shame because it's nice and sunny here and we really need to have a picnic. Yeah. But um, none of us put, bought picnic food. No, we haven't that outside, we've just got the car yeah. park and the main road. It's not yeah, we'd have, we'd have to sit in the car. Yeah. It's not quite it the same really then, is the it? Same. No. no. So we've cut, um, <laughs> I've cut two pieces. This is the main body of the bag. So the way the little um, template is, is you fold the fabric in half and then you place your template over the fold like so and then you would cut this out. So that would make that whole piece here. And I've already sewn one of the handle sections to the top of this. So I'm going to do the same with the other piece. So you can see here, that's my main body of my bag. Yeah. And this is my little um, handle that I'm going to the top. So I'm going to put right sides together. I am going to pin it quite quickly. I like um, Beck, uh, Rachel's idea of fabricating the inside of your holders. And then you can put your... That's a really good idea. In there. Yeah. Um, and then if you used... Um, if you used um, the thermal wadding, yeah. that could then keep everything cool as well. Uh, so for like, could you put like maybe ice, ice cream in there potentially as well? I mean, if you served it fairly quickly, you you'd could. To, you'd have to eat it quickly, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just getting um, You're excited You're just thinking now. about the things that you want to eat. Yeah, ice cream, <laughs> drink Prosecco, uh, sausage rolls, you said. I mean, I don't even eat meat, but the idea of a sausage roll right now seems quite nice in the picnic. Scotch, yeah. Greg's vegan sausage roll, maybe. A what? Greg's vegan sausage roll. They're supposed to be very good, aren't they? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. It's I don't really go to Greg's. Oh, it's a, it's a big thing. Oh. You know, it's um, you know, lots of people have been talking about the Greg's sausage roll. Oh, I'll have to check that out then, won't yeah. I? Yeah. The Greg's just down the road. It's supposed to be fantastic, their vegan oh. sausage roll. Well, I'll try it out and I'll put it in my little uh, storage caddy. <laughs> So you've done, I've already done the pockets here and then I've just sewn that little handle um, on the top of here. So now I'm going to take my pocket pieces and I'm going to sew them to the main body of the bag. So I'm just going to line up the raw edges and I'm going to stitch down here and here. And this is going to create these little pockets. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now you can, of course, sort of measure these out, make sure they're really accurate, but I'm just going to do it by eye because um, it doesn't matter you know, enormously um, how big these pockets are. But you may have particular things that you want to put in here and then therefore you know, it's a good idea to measure it. I mean, if you've got a... Um, you might want to pop your ruler in here if you're going to be using it as storage yeah. and then sort of measure where you're going to be putting your, your line. 
um, but I'm just going to do it by eye. So I'm going to take those two pieces with the two pockets and I'm going to line them up. We don't have, them. in case you're looking, that particular fabric available. We do have the Union Jacks on the light blue. Um, so if you want some sort of jubilee fabric that is available um, on the website. Um, sorry about talking about picnics. Gilmore says, OMG, don't make me hungry. Sorry. And Lillian says, I went to Greg's just to try one of those vegan sausage rolls. They're good. Oh, OK. So, I mean, just watch your popping this together as well. Cynthia is asking. She says her granddaughter wants to learn to sew. She said, uh, would you recommend that these are OK for a 14 year old beginner with yes. supervision? Yes, absolutely. Um, and I think, I'll just check for sure. Um, did we have a video for this? I don't think we have. Oh. I don't know if we've done, done a separate video for this, but I have demonstrated this before. Right. Um, so you can always watch back the demonstrations that we've done. But we have got step-by-step um, -step photographs anyways um, in the instructions. So it should be quite easy for, um, for her to do. Yeah. It's not, the, the most complicated bit is actually putting the, the, the base parts in. That's the, the bit that's the trickiest. The rest of it is, um, you know, it's going to be easy enough for her to do. Uh, whilst it's sewing, um, Pammy says, I made a couple of these storage caddies as gifts for high school graduation parties. You can fill them with all sorts of stuff, as we've been chatting about. Um, Stephanie says, I think the instruction booklets that are provided with the collections are nicely detailed. Uh, Laura May says, I love these templates. The weight is perfect. And Pam Reap on YouTube says, you can never have too many tote bags. They're so handy for instant tidiness. They are, they're so practical, aren't they? But they're also um, a lovely, lovely gift that you can give to somebody um, as well. Uh, thank you to Lynn Cherryman. Uh, lovely Lynn says, Greg's vegan sausage rolls are absolutely delicious. I prefer them to normal ones. Well, I might have to go and get one. Although having said that, by the time we finish, bank holiday hours, Greg's isn't gonna be open, is it? I'll pop and get one in the in the break. We, they might be open. Might be no, open, not Mammy. four. Most, most, not shop, sh most shops shut at. F I can't, that's hard to say. Most shops shut at four on a bank holiday, don't they? Is I think. Just, oh, because it's Friday, isn't it? I think it's Saturday. Today, it? I keep thinking it's Sunday. I shouldn't worry. Uh, oh, Monday, yeah. I'll get one. Yeah. Never mind. It will taste all the better because you'll be waiting for it. Yeah. That's what I reckon. But it better taste good now after all the, uh, the bigging up you guys have given. If I get it and I'm sort of like, meh, not too bothered, I'll be disappointed. So I'm just trimming those little edges off. So now I'm going to um, stitch these two pieces together. So I'm going to put them right sides together. And I'm just going to sew down these parts here, down these sides. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to use some clips for this because this is quite thick. Like that. Do you have a street party to go to this weekend, Ben? Well, we don't have a street party. You don't? No. Um, but our little our, vi our village is doing like a, a village sort of fate slash concert evening tomorrow. Oh, nice. Uh, so I'm sort of a little bit in trouble actually because I'm playing cricket tomorrow afternoon, and we were supposed to be going to the like the village fate but I'm playing cricket but I'll be back in time for the like the concert thing in the evening Are you um, performing at the concert am I performing yeah well funny you should say that I'm not however they were um a few months back when they were planning it asking for like local residents with talents to put themselves forward to do some stuff so I, I half thought about doing it you know because I used to do a bit of singing back in the day and you know a bit of piano and stuff or a bit of you know juggling balloon animals violin as well violin yep. of course you know i could have done um but i i, I just i thought you know what now nah, i'll give someone else a chance this time so uh they've got some other local people doing bits and bobs um yeah. uh, you should be going for i think we'd, we'd all love to see that what, we, all, we all know ben's got talent but you know you could you could make it a proper thing oh. <laughs> Well, may, maybe, uh, you know, in, a, in a, a few months or something, I'll just do my own concert yeah. on the Village Green <laughs> um, and put posters around the village for that. And then maybe, you know, you guys will come along. But it'll just <laughs> probably just be you guys. <laughs> be no Otherwise, else. you're just going to have some friends over in the, in the, in the village. Is that yeah. what you're going to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have some friends over. Take over the Village Green and, uh, yeah, do some singing. But... Uh, um, 
So no, I mean no, no uh, is the answer. Uh, we're not having a street party. I don't think our estate is that. It's a new estate, and I don't think a lot of people, like the neighbours, know each other that well yet enough to have. Well, street it's a party. good opportunity to meet people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. By having that's how it all sort of started, didn't it? We're having the um, the street parties, and everyone sort of started getting to know each other. Mm. It's quite a good thing to Are do. Are you doing it? No, I'm here. Oh, but the, oh, yeah. um, but my, my street is closing for a street party which nobody's organised. So they're just shutting the street. So they said, the, they said the children could play football in the street, but nearly everyone's on holiday. So I'm not entirely sure what they're going to so be doing. So they're just closing the street they're down. They're closing the street because in London, that's what we all want, a road being closed for no apparent reason. Yeah. Um, and everyone, the person that organised it has gone on holiday. So Brilliant. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're better off being here then. Yeah, really, exactly. Aren't you, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think lots of people, they were doing loads of stuff, bits and pieces nearby me. So I think, you know, it's going to be quite, quite a splendid you know, thing to do. So what I've done here is I've folded each piece in half to find the midway point. So I've done that um, on both sides of my main body of my bag. And I've also done that with my, this is my base. So I've made marks at each sort of quarter. And what we're going to do is we're going to match these up. So we're going to place the two marks here, so in the middle of this um, front panel, and then on that piece here, and we're going to clip it. And we're going to do that with both of those sides, so either of those sides first of all. So this is the bit which I was saying, you know, of all of it is the most sort of complicated, it's the most fiddly. Talk, I'm talking about uh, complicated and fiddly. Yeah. Uh, um, that sounds like. Where, a where sense, are it? you going with this? No, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Linda wants to say. Uh, wants to say. Wants to know. She says, "I've never done any soft crafts before. What would you recommend for a total beginner? So, like something like these templates, would they be good? Or yeah, they're really good. Or a, a cushion is always my real, real good standby thing because it's straight lines. It doesn't really matter if you're a little bit wonky. Um, that it doesn't need um, any sort of, or doesn't need a great deal of measurement. Um, as you, this is sort of, um, I'd say, sort of an advanced beginner, I suppose, because you're going around a curve. And when you sew around a curve, we're just, we're just sort of putting this base, you, base part in, it's a little bit tricky. Um, but it, if you've, you know, you're saying you're a complete beginner, but um, have you, if you've ever used a sewing machine before, I mean, part of the thing is just it being quite slow, not rushing, um, and using using your pins, making sure that you're getting everything, um, you know, sort of all attached. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I say that these are really good to start off with. But if you're a super, you know, really nervous beginner, I'd make it, make yourself a cushion, because yeah. then you can see, you know, you can use it, you can be proud of it. And if you're not proud of it, you can just throw it away. Or you can put it in your spare bedroom where no one's going to see it or something like that. But, yes. you know, it's, um, you know, I'm sure it would be absolutely fine to make. And then there's something quite spectacular about people coming around and going, wow, I love your cushion. And you're like, yeah, I've made it myself. It's unique. Yep, absolutely. It's mine. My cushions always end up on the floor. That's where I find them. What, because people kick them off the sofa? Or? Yeah. Or the dogs sleep on them. Uh, oh, do they? So, yeah. Yeah, my dogs always sleep on the sofa. Right, so I've now pinned all the way around the edge and I'm going to stitch around the edge. I'm not going to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm actually going to change my foot to an ordinary foot um, just to make it a little bit easier because I'm actually going to try and use a little bit of a larger, maybe sort of half an inch or um, a third of an inch, kind of, just a you know, little bit lo longer than a quarter of an inch, a little bit wider than a quarter of an inch. Because I'm sewing lots of um, layers together, yeah. I want to make sure I capture everything. So I'm just going to be a little bit careful about sewing around there. Question from the gallery as well. Um, Erin's wanting to know, uh, could she extend this uh, to make a, ba a basket for her dog, Willow? You'd have to make him enormous. <laughs> It'd be absolutely enormous. Willow's not that well, big. Look, I mean, that, that'd fit Willow's head. <laughs> <laughs> you get a Yorkshire Terrier in there, though, wouldn't you? You could, or you could get, you could get two kittens in there. Two, two kittens, two oh. kittens or a piglet. <laughs> yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be quite quite cute. So it's not quite Willow size, but two kittens or a Yorkie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Erin. You, you asked, I asked. Yeah, I don't, I don't think um, no. we don't need to make something quite. Actually, one of the storage templates that we had um, that we launched not very long ago, the really big ones, that would almost fit Willow. Um, but yeah, this I think, I think Willow is a little bit too, too big for this. Um, 
And just fast your stitching. This is a good question. All right then, gang. I want everyone's input on this, please. Everyone's input. Kathy wants to know what kinds of foods are popular for Jubilee festivities. So imagine, imagine we're all here, not here, enjoying the festivities. We've got our little, um, we've got our little storage uh, totes. We've got them full up of food. What's going to be in our Jubilee picnics? I'll go first. Scotch eggs. Ha homemade scotch eggs or shop brought scotch eggs? I think you probably have to, probably have to be homemade, mm. and I'd have to have like a vegetarian sausage meat ones because I obviously don't eat meat. For me, it'll be scones and scones and jam, jam. and clotted cream. And actually, I bought some clotted cream to bring up. I was going to make some scones and yeah. bring them up, but um, I forgot. Uh, would you? Erin's <laughs> 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 just typed. She said uh, Becky would have caviar. I probably would have caviar. I like a bit of caviar. <laughs> I've never had caviar, ever. Oh, I love caviar. What does it taste like? Delicious. What is it, salty? It, yeah, I mean, you get different types of caviar. So right. some of them are super... So some of them, when you, when, you, when you have them in your mouth, they sort of pop in your Ooh. mouth. Um, right. You get others that are much sort of softer and um, that don't do that. So it depends what the kind of um, caviar that you like is to have. Is it an acquired taste? Pardon? Is it an, quite an acquired taste? I don't... Um, I mean, I quite like um, I like fish. I like fish, yeah. and um, I quite like sort of shellfish and things like yeah. that. But uh, my my kids aren't interested in it. My husband's just you no know, doesn't doesn't see the the point. Um, it, so he'll eat it if it's on something, but he wouldn't choose to have it. Um, olives. Uh, so producer Jamie would have olives in the picnic basket. I don't mind olives. Olives with a bit of feta. That's a bit more Greeky though, isn't it? A bit Greeky. Um, pork pies, George. This is a good one. And coronation chicken sandwiches. Coronation, coronation chicken sandwiches, sandwiches yeah. of course. They'd have to go in there. I think I'd have. Uh, by the way, Stephanie G said she'd have scones in her picnic basket. Let us know what you're going to put in the basket. We'd love to. Kirsty D says mini Victoria sponges are a must, of course. Named after the the Queen, Queen Victoria. Um, I'd have little. Do you know what I love salmon and cream cheese bagels. Oh yeah. I think you'd have to have some of those in the old basket. Um, pork, yeah, pork pies is a great shout. But um, if you're having the pork, I mean, I don't eat meat, but if you're having pork pies, proper like English mustard as well. You know, like the Coleman's, oh, a bit of pickle in there would be good. Yeah, yeah. Cheese and, cheese and, cheese and pickle. Oh, you go for big pork pies, George, are you? Big, big, the big pork pies, yeah, yeah. What was um, that? Um, you used to get like, was it a ham? An egg slice pie. Do you remember that? How an egg slice pie? Yeah, it was like a. It looked like a pork pie, but you'd get. It was quite big, and you'd have an egg inside it. Oh yes, yes, yes. Is that what they were called? Something that like was, that. Oh, I know what you mean. Um, egg, egg and ham. Oh, I'm gonna have to Google it. It had. A, it has got like a special name. Um, so I'm just turning this round so you can see what that looks like. Now, what I would probably do is just, um, I'm going to snip around these curves, so just around here, so it, um, it curves around a little bit better. So I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm just going to do a few little snips gala around pie. the edge. Is that what it's called? Yeah. You'd have, yeah, gala pie would be in there. But I think in the, in the original, if you were having a picnic for the original, um, the original coronation, it would be things like, um, they would have things like tongue sandwiches, wouldn't oh, they? That my was quite popular. Oh, tongue sandwiches. Yeah. And, and, but that's, that's something that oh. you don't see. No. Nah. No, I don't think I could, I could um, have that. Uh, that's not for me. No. I, don't, no. I never liked the idea of that. Cucumber sandwiches, says Lynn. Yeah, yeah. that's a good shout. Cheese straws. Cheese straws. Yeah, that's a, that's a party food, isn't it? I think as well, if you were having the sandwiches, well, I don't know why, but they'd have to be cut into like fingers, like finger oh, yes, sandwiches, yeah. you know, if you're going to do it yeah. properly. But that's how I, I always have my sandwiches. With a caviar and champagne, <laughs> don't you know? Oh, champagne, yes. Nice bottle of tatty. Uh, or is it bolly? Bolly. Bolly, not tatty. Bolly, bolly not tatty. Yeah. Um, how about fish and chips, says Susan? I think you probably have those later in the evening after the picnic. Finish I off think the so. fish and chips. Yeah. Mm. So we've done our, uh, this is our main part of our we bag. We can make it bigger with all the food we're going to put in it. I'm, I think we're going to struggle, aren't we? Yeah. That's only, that's only going to fit the scotch eggs and the... And George's and the, pork pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've done exactly the same with the lining. So the lining is, um, you know, you've got, the, you've got the same part. You've got your outside 
part, your main part of your um, bag. You've also got this part for the little um, handles. And then you've also got your circle part on the main part of the bag. Now, I haven't stitched all the way through. I've just left a little hole because that's what I would turn the bag inside out for. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this round the other way. So we're going to have that this way. And then we're going to put this with right sides together. And I'm just going to put that um, lining inside the bag. And then I'm just going to find, um, get this all in the right place. So this is the little bit that takes a little bit of time, which you will want to uh, make sure you sort of um, spend your time sort of lining everything up. Yeah. But you will go around here. And you'll match up all these little areas right Trifle. here. Trifle. So I've never been a big trifle fan. My husband loves trifle. Sherry trifle is lovely. Yeah, that's his thing at Christmas. That's what he always wants. So we have we have what we call Lazy Day. So have the day what? Lazy Day. Oh yeah. So the day after Boxing Day. So Boxing Day is our biggest celebration at home. We have um, lots and lots of family. We have lots of um, party games. We have trophies. Um, it's a big thing and lots of food and then the next day is what we call lazy day where we eat all the leftovers and no one gets dressed and you watch you know, when the children were small you'd watch all the, the DVDs that they got for Christmas and that's what my husband has for breakfast trifle <laughs> apparently you've just described Erin's weekend <laughs> I want to know who you're playing all these party games with and where, where are the trophies, Erin? That's what I want to know. <laughs> she wins every time, apparently. Yeah, guaranteed winner every time. <laughs> all right. So we're just going to go all the way around here. So I'm going to stitch all the way around the outside now. So that will then um, form the lining for the whole of the bag and then we'll turn everything through. I just think, again, you know, for this sort of price, what you're able to create with these, and the fact is, you, that's the other thing to stress, it's not like a one-time purchase, this, is it? You no. You get one bag and that's it. You'll use these, like, time and time and time again, you know, if, if, if you look after them. So for £19.98, £23.52 if you're platinum, I think it's a great buy. You've got the three different designs, your binding tool, and, of course, you're going to get your free tool, uh, your tote bag is included with this deal as well because you're spending over that £10, $10. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Julie just saying, don't forget the bubbles or the pims with your picnic. Oh, we wouldn't forget those. We would not forget those. I'm not keen on pims, and I know I should be. I should mm. like pims, but I've never been... I think I'd always sidestep it if I could. It's always at, like, the start of an event, isn't it, a glass of pims, yeah. I always find, like the reception of a wedding or something. Yeah. Um... I'd much rather have like a glass of Prosecco, I think, or something like that to get me started for the day. They always put too much stuff in it, didn't they? In the pim. Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit like a picnic in a glass, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sa salad. Yeah. Your salad fruit in a glass. Salad in a glass. Like fish it's in like that. that fruit salad you used to get in a tin. <laughs> right, fruit salad in a tin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is a bit like that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so fussed. Steffi says, it sounds like you'll need multiple bags to carry all these goodies to celebrate. I think you're right. I think, I, I think that is going to be the case, isn't it? Yeah. I, one of my my, um, my next door neighbour lent me. Um, I was going to a picnic and I needed a, a picnic basket, picnic hamper kind of thing. And she said, um, she said, oh, I'll lend you our picnic bag. It's not a bag. It was a trolley. It was a refrigerated trolley that she lent me, which was fantastic because um, it was quite sturdy, so you could use it as a as a table afterwards. But oh my goodness, we could fit you know a meal for about 30 people in there. It was brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> And it was refrigerated. Oh, that is yeah, amazing. Right. That's next level. That's next level. I'm just so sad that what we're talking about now isn't actually going to happen like in between <laughs> shows. You just imagine. Can, can we... Uh, yeah, it's what people are currently doing and we're just dreaming about doing it. I wonder if... Uh, Oh, Erin, any chance? I know you're all sort of in the gallery. Maybe you could just quit nip down to Tesco, uh, get some pork pies, get a, a couple of bottles of bolly, uh, some caviar, uh, we'll have some trifle, scones, uh, some olives, strawberries. Uh, oh, yeah, and then we've, we've got the bag made, ready to carry it out into the car park. It's really, it really uh, is a motley assortment of food that we're choosing, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> caviar to pork pies. Just <laughs> brilliant. Oh, dear. Yeah, and Lynn's also said if you put a waterproof lining in it or used your fabric coat potentially, you could use this um, for the beach as well. Absolutely. Uh, Jane wants to come to your house for Christmas uh, next year. 
Uh, ev everyone is welcome. You're all invited. You're all invited. I'm just going to, I've just got a little bit of a tangle here. So okay. Give me a moment. I'll just sort that out. That's all right. Um, just to uh, remind you, by the way, just whilst we're getting untangled, uh, if you do comment on the show, which I know loads of you are doing, lots of lovely comments coming through. We're all getting hungry talking about picnics. Uh, we are giving away a goodie bag each and every day. So today, tomorrow and Sunday, all you have to do is comment on the shows. Right, so just leave in a comment. I mean, obviously now we're talking about food, picnics, ask a question, uh, leave a bit of hashtag Vance with us, let us know what you're shopping for. However you want to comment, just do it. The more times you comment, more chances you'll have of winning a goodie bag. Um, we'll draw the winner in the six o'clock show each evening, all right? So uh, best time to comment sort of now or in the early show, um, and we'll draw the winner at six o'clock, just after six o'clock each and every evening for the next three days. Today's goodie bag, very quickly has got in here i mean how generous is this like our guys have gone to town with this you've got your ultimate uh, card making compendium uh, you've also got uh, metallic paint markers in here we've also got a set of our um, beautiful acrylic paint um, acrylic paint markers some spectrum noir there in here we've got some violet studio little um bobbles in there too we've got some uh, beautiful stamps in here the once in a lifetime florals and on top of that from the rose garden collection um, a beautiful stencil set and oh blimey there's more in here you've also got uh, your winter floral stamp set and uh, you've got your happy tags um, uh, stamp and die set as well, allowing you to make some really, really cute um, handmade tags. So that's the prize that we're going to give away today. How generous is that? I mean, that is amazing, right? And all you have to do, nothing complicated, uh, you just send us a little message in the comments on Facebook or YouTube, and our social team will pick a winner uh, a little bit later on uh, it is all about celebrating the jubilee weekend with you giving you all of these uh, reasons to stay with us giving you uh, double points giving you free uk shipping giving you half price us shipping uh, giving you free gifts every day uh, and also giving you prizes simply for uh, getting interactive with us which is just uh, phenomenal so do make sure if you have commented uh, that you come back and watch the latest show uh, because <laughs> because you could win. I like Eve B's comment. She's just said, commenting, commenting. Very good. I mean, you can do that if you want. I mean, you can literally just type, just type the first letter that comes onto your keyboard and send that in. Qualifies as a comment, doesn't it? Um, love the clip, says Cynthia, that you're using instead of pins. What are they called? I need to add them to my order. These are sorting clips. Yep. They are fantastic. Actually, Michelle was saying she uses them for holding her mic pack back sometimes when she... Uh, um, so yes. really, really useful. So, and I do sometimes use these for putting my hair back, just a little bit of hair. Yeah. Um, but they are fantastic. If you're going to be making bags um, or you've got anything that's a bit sort of cumbersome or if you're going to be using um, some leather or some faux leather, um, things that you don't want pins to mark, they are really well worth having. Um, definitely something that, you know, you, you, everyone should have some of these, definitely. Yeah. Uh, they are available right now on the website. Kathy, uh, Kathy Leah, I've got your general sewing question that you sent through. I'll ask um, Becky the question um, when we finish this demo because it's, it's taking me a bit of time to uh, compute it. Uh, and I think it might be one that Becky will need to answer separately while she's not demoing. So um, I will ask that for you. Don't worry, I have got it and I will ask it at the end of this demo. Uh, and Crafting with Quilting Lady says, it's amazing to watch a live show. Uh, can we have bank holidays more often, please? Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah, well up for that. every week. Oh, That'd yeah. be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I've sewn all the way around the edge now, and I'm just turning everything um, round. So I'm turning everything sort of through the lining. So where we've got, th these are the little handles. So you'd want to spend a little bit of time just getting those um, nice and um, sort of pulled out evenly. So you could use a chopstick um, for this or a pen. I normally travel with my chopsticks, and I didn't this, this week. And and I, travel with your chopsticks. I travel with my chopsticks and I feel, a, I feel a bit lost and actually the food that I brought with me is non-chopstick food um, because I, I couldn't, um, I couldn't you did the puppy eat show without again chopsticks. There. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Hello. And just through here. Let's pull that out. I'm a bag. <laughs> Sorry, so childish. <laughs> and then we're going to tuck the lining back into the bag. Yep. Like this. 
And obviously, you want to sew up that little hole that we've left to that little gap that we've left in the lining of the bag. Yeah. But we're not going to do that today. And we, you'd want to, um, to finish it off nicely, you want to give this a, a top stitch all the way around to the outside just to make it nice, it's nice and finished. And then um, you can use, um, as I said, you can use a snap fastener or you could use a, um, put a, be a put buttonhole to secure this or you could just stitch this together. Or in fact, I could just take off my little flower and I could pin that together and then you've got this little bag, perfect for your scotch eggs. Oh yes. Or Easter eggs as well for little yeah, Easter egg hunts. Yeah. Or you could use it in the way that it's, it's meant to as a little bit of a, a storage um, organiser. Is anyone else thinking as well, I'm sorry, because the way you did it a few minutes ago, turn that upside down, that would make quite a nice hat as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jubilee hat! <laughs> Yay! I could just pin those up and look at it like the Mad Hatter. That's so cool! <laughs> I mean, however you make it, however you use it, how much fun is that? Uh, Lillian says, Becky, do you really eat crisps with your chopstick? Do, yeah. Um, and in fact, my, I was having a conversation with my daughter. She's just come back from university and we went to buy some crisps. And she said, I can't eat these um, here because I haven't got any chopsticks. Um, so yeah, the two of us, we couldn't eat our crisps when we were out because we didn't have chopsticks. Stop your hands from getting mucky. I mean, it's a great, great shout. Uh, Tony says that the flower dye is going to be demonstrated. They jumped into my basket. I couldn't resist the sunflowers. They will be demonstrated uh, within the next five minutes, Tanya. So hang fire for that. Can I just ask you this question? I've tried to read it um, through, through my mind. I've tried to read it through my mind. I've tried to read it, um, but I'll ask it to you. I don't really understand it. Uh, but I'm sure you will. So this is from Kathy. She says, I've, I have a Gemini die that cuts the two and a half inch strips, but you need to fold the fabric. Yes. Yeah. How many layers of the 45 inch wide fabric can I cut with the die at one time? Do I need to cut the fabric down from the 45 inches wide before I fold it so not so many layers? Um, well, we, we say you can cut, um, it depends on the fabric. I mean, I would say six, six layers to be safe. You can sometimes cut eight layers of fabric. Um, so it, um, I would say that if you're oh, 45 inches, did you say 45 inches? Yeah. Uh, so that's 100 and, 40, and it was two, it was a two inch strip. Two I and think. a half inch Two and a half strip, inch strip. 45 inches. So that'd be um, one, two, yeah, you'd, you'd have to cut that down, maybe cut that piece of fabric in half um so you've got 22 and a half inches in the yeah and 22. then fold then fold it um you yeah six six to eight um you would be able to get out of that six to eight layers of fabric um so yeah i would cut that piece of fabric in half um of the width does that make sense uh yes <laughs> No, it does. And that was a great question, um, and well, well, well done on answering it. Um, wow, wow. But that's what we're here for. Keep those questions coming through. Right, very quickly, I've got lots to recap on. If you want to go for that storage template collection, uh, you are going to get in there the template to be able to create what you have just seen, uh, that gorgeous storage caddy. Uh, by the way, if you're after fabric, we've got some lovely new fabrics on the show for you as well, which you can find on the Shop the Day page. That's coming in this collection. You're also going to receive uh, the templates to be able to create your sewing organiser and you're also going to receive the templates to be able to create that sewing workstation. Plus, we're throwing in the binding tool into that deal as well. That's a phenomenal buy. £19.98 Platinum, $23.52 if you're shopping with us in the US and you're a Platinum member. Double points, plus you're going to get your free gift included as well. Plenty more goodies for you um, on the Shop the Day page. We are coming back in just a few moments' time. So for uh, those of you who were asking, uh, like the likes of Tanya, who were asking about these gorgeous, brand new, multi media flower dyes that you can create the most amazing projects with stand by because we're going to be coming back showing you these in more detail giving you all the inspiration you need in just a few moments time so if you've got items in your basket right now get to the checkouts and we'll come back with a full demonstration on that amazing launch bundle in just a few moments time welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of live shows each week it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. 
I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Quick buy. All your crafting must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors. The Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle, so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time, so your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines, so you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome back. Lots of you have been waiting for this next section of the shoe where we have a look at uh, the item which we are launching. Uh, Diane says, I'm looking forward to seeing these flower dies. And uh, Stephanie just said, yes, nice to see the festive banner in the background. Feels like a party. Um, Becky, you made that, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Did you make yeah. That? yeah. yeah. Um, we've gone all festive for the, uh, for the Jubilee. Becky made that as well, by the way. Made that. Yeah. Uh, didn't make that, though. No, we made the other one, which you're not wearing. Rude. Oh, I'll go and put it on. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'll go, I'm going to go and do a costume change in a minute. Uh, <laughs> to make sure that you can see what Becky made for me. But before that, let's have a look um, at this brand new launch. Um, this is phenomenal, right? A wonderful selection of uh, multi-craft flower dyes. 13 dyes in your um, one collection here, which is the gorgeous, uh, fabulous uh, flowers. And then you've got, uh, as well as that, your beautiful blooms. So a selection of your multimedia um, dyes to be able to create the most gorgeous uh, floral bouquet. Case. You've then got in this collection as well a set of your um, felt. So 17 sheets of felt that you've got in a variety of different colours. Uh, and then we're also going to give you your accessories pack here. And this is super handy because you've got uh, your sort of little, um, uh, little fluffy balls um, that you can use to, um, to decorate your projects with. And you've also got um, a whole host of other little things like little um, key ring clips. You've got little binders in there as well. So you've got the ability to pop your flowers onto lots of different things. Like, for example, with the little clips here, you can make uh, really cute little brooches. Um, if you want to go slightly bigger than that, of course, you can then bring your flowers into your um, uh, mixed media projects, of course, like here, just you know, um, putting them onto home decor pieces, which I think is really cute. And if you want to go bigger than that, you've got the ability to kind of pop these onto um, things like um, wreaths, which I think is absolutely gorgeous for sort of all occasions, for all times of the year. Uh, and also, I know a lot of you were mentioning this when I showed this briefly. This is a blog project, which if it's not up on the website right now, it will be very soon. Um, a great way to be able to decorate um, things like your frames as well. I love this because. Um, You've got the ability, haven't you, to, to pop down to your sort of local uh, pound shop or dollar store and pick up items to kind of decorate with. Um, and things like, as you're going to show us, like decorating, I don't know, bags and hats and uh, uh, cushion covers as well. Yep. I mean, so many things you can do with this set, isn't it? Yeah, there's definitely, it, it's going to be one of those, those things that you're going to be using a lot. This is a little example of a little clutch bag, and this has got one of those felt flowers just in the middle. But you can see this has been made with um, one of our um, bag making dies. You can really sort of elevate something, and people might have weddings to go to this year. You know, you may want to sort of upcycle something that you've, you've currently got. You just want to put a little bit of colour based on the outfit that you've got. You can cut these out of any fabric we've used felt in these but you can use any kind of fabric what I would say is if you're using a printed fabric um, maybe um, stick the two pieces of fabric together so you've got it double-sided 
so you can see both sides of the fabric um, when you're making your flower. Um, but I thought I, what I would do is I show you all the various um, ways of making the flowers. So I'm going to start off um, by using I'm using the fabulous flowers um, die set first of all. And with all of these, you're going to get your little booklet in here, which shows you the details of what all the dies look like and what dies you'll need in order to make the particular flowers. But there's nothing to stop you from mixing it up because you could make all sorts of different flowers. You could have, um, you know, make, make sort of supernatural flowers, for want of a better term, in crazy colours. And perhaps you want to make your own felt or um, you've got some other pieces of felt that you want to um, felt onto the main piece of um, fabric you're using so you can get kind of mottled effects there's all sorts of things you could do with this um, and we've got step-by-step -step instructions as to how to put them together and um, so here we've got the primrose and we've got these little blossoms over here so this is the one I'm going to start off by doing so this is using these little dies here so if you've um, if you're a paper crafter you may have seen I think it was um was it um Sharon Callis had dies like this she was doing with paper so you could do like paper flowers paper quilling oh, yes, kind really, of things yes, yes, they were very dies, similar yeah. to this um, so we're going to use this first of all um, I'm going to use my small um, plates just because it's a little bit easier and I'm going to place um, I'm going to do one like that and one of these as well so we're using the pointed blossoms as well as the sort of rounded blossoms and I'm also going to cut some of the little circles as well. So what, going back to Lynn's comment from earlier on saying um, quite fancy getting into soft craft, where would be a good place to start? These would be a good place to start, wouldn't they? They really yeah. would for decorating. Yeah, they really would. a bit of fun with. Let's make sure I've got that right. Got my cravat on now, by the way. Very nice. Are you overheating and wearing your cravat? Uh, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. It won't take long. No. It is one of the... It's one of the hottest things I've ever made. Even when I was making it, I was like, oh. What's it made from again? Did you say? Uh, it's um, it's a shot Lurex, Lurex that I'm making it from. Yeah. It's a look, though, isn't it? Yeah. I think uh, many people it, could pull it's that got, off. It's got lots of the colours that, you know, for, for work, aren't they? It's very corporate. Yeah. That's what I reckon. So we've cut those out here. Let's put those to one side. Oh, that one's not taken that one off um, so you can see I've used two layers of um, felt here but I have been cutting um, three layers um, three or four layers of felt quite easily um, and you just take them apart and I have already cut some shapes already so I'm going to get those out as I said before I had such a lovely week yeah. cutting these out as you can see I've got a huge box wow of colours because I didn't know what I would want to make during the day I might want to make something a bit different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these these sort of circular blossoms and uh, two different colours and I'm going to layer those over the top of each other um, so you could use the same colour but I quite like the idea of having two slightly different colours in there but the same kind of hues um, and again I'm going to be using these are my um, silicon sort of finger protectors um, which are really great for um, using hot glue because they're going to protect your fingers. Um, and I always end up sort of cutting my, oh, cutting myself, damaging myself with hot mm. glue. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a very thin layer of hot glue here, just almost just going to touch it across here. And I'm going to place that layer, just going to offset that against there. And then what you um, need, either need, you can use some tweezers if you want, or you can just do it by hand. And we're just going to place a little bit of glue along here, like that. And this is where these finger protectors sort of come into their own, because I'm going to fold that over, and I'm just going to roll up these blossoms on top of each other. Um, quick question whilst you're rolling. Mm -hmm. There's a good one, actually. Rhonda says, uh, so obviously these are multimedia dies. If you use your multimedia dies to cut paper, do they dull like scissors so that it's then, so that it's then harder to cut fabric? Hmm. I would say not, because it's not like they're sharp, is it? No. Um, I know I know I've seen people say that they, if they use multimedia um, dies for, fab um, for paper and then fabric, they run them through the 
Gemini with some um, foil oh, in right. there. Um, but I, it shouldn't make any difference because it's, it's not, they're, they're, you're right, they're not sharp. They are, it's the pressure yeah. um, of the die that, um, that makes it sort of cut. Um, so it shouldn't make any difference. Um, but um, yeah, that, yeah, shouldn't make any difference. Yeah. So we've just rolled up this, and um, those are those two pieces. Now you can add extra um, ones around the edge um, if you wanted to, or you can use some of these circular ones. So you saw me cut some of these circles earlier on, and we're just going to add individual um, little petals here. What I am going to do, this makes it a little bit easier, is I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of glue here. And I'm just going to build up my flower. So if you've ever made, um, we just want to overlap each of the petals. I used to make a lot of um, cakes, and I'd often be making sugar flowers. And it's the, the very much the same process, that you're just overlapping each of the petals very slightly, and you're just building up um, your sort of pattern. Um, bit by bit. Um, Can you make this as big or as small as you like? Could you use these then? Obviously, you'd have to buy separate ones, but you could use these to make decorations for cake then, because you mm. are not really... No, I mean, if you use... They're not going to... Um, I, I don't know I don't know for sure whether the dyes are fabric, uh, fabric soft. Food safe Food is safe. the word I'm looking for. Mm. Um, but you wouldn't be able to... Because you'd have to use um, icing sheets. Oh, uh, right, um, yeah. And they're probably going to just get squashed in the Gemini. Mm. Um, it, that normally, what you would do is you would cut... If you're going to be making these out of um, icing, you use actual little cutters mm. um, to put them together. But it, it forms the same kind of process that you're building up around the edge. Let me see here. So you can make, you know, a, you, this isn't a, an exact replica of a, um, any particular flower. I'm just building it up and I'm using the colours um, that I want to use here. And a few more of those purple circle. Crafty Andy, just to answer your question, um, yeah, when I said it will be aired soon, I was talking about this, the blog project. So th this will be um, on our website soon if it's not there. Our Liam's put this uh, project together. Um, so there's going to be a little blog project going up on uh, our social pages, um, on the Club Inspire social pages, and then on our website as well. Uh, Liam basically taking you through how you pop this lovely um, this lovely project together. So uh, yeah, stand by. I think it was supposed to go live at two, but if it's not there yet, it will be there very very soon indeed. So that's what I was talking about. Uh, Bubble and Squeak says on YouTube, <laughs> what are the yellow finger things, please? She's lost the rest of her rubber gloves. These are silicon um, finger protectors. So if I put a bit of glue on my Ooh. finger here, I can't feel anything. Oh. Um, and I, it, you know, if you rub the glue together, I can't feel anything at all. It doesn't even feel slightly warm. No. So these are just brilliant. You can get the, you, I bought them in three different colors in three different sizes. Um, and whenever I use hot glue, this is what I would use. So whether I use it for paper craft, mm. um, um, you know, if you're doing sort of fat flower for, um, forming, um, I tend to use hot glue, um, then I would, I would use these, but they're definitely worth getting. And I just bought them online. They were really inexpensive couple of couple of pounds for three pairs and they're definitely worth having because they do save your fingers because so i think everyone that's ever used hot glue has gone yeah. at some point when you've it's it's sort of squeezed onto you even if you're being really careful so there we've got the basis of that little flower then i'm going to use some of my leaves like i said so i'm just I'm just freestyling it. I'm just choosing leaves that I think are going to work. Um, so I might have one of those. Just a little bit of glue on the back. And then just there. And Producer Jamie and I just had the same song in our head then when you said you were going to freestyle. Do you know what? So did I. I don't know the, I don't know the exact lyrics, but it goes down, 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 yeah. down, 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 freestyle. Straight, what is it? What is it? Freestyle from the back of my... What no, what's the first line? Freestyle from the... Oh, from the top of my dome, I'm going to rock, 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 That's quite an old song, isn't it? That's, like, that's got to be sort of mid-90s, isn't it? I'd say it's late 90s. It wasn't it around like the, sort of when Garage became very big. I was working at a holiday park yep. at the time, and all they ever wanted to hear was like the we eat wine, 
Put a crop tape ball. Selector. And then you get all these kids coming up. You'd be in the DJ booth playing the music. Uh, there was me wanting to play a bit of Lionel Richie or something. And they were after the Artful Dodger or whatever it was. And then they'd be like, oh, hello, mate. Could I, could I come and do some MCing? And then they'd take the <laughs> mic off you. And then they'd start doing all this stuff over the top of the songs. Oh, that was Jamie. Yeah. They'd just come in and start like, what did they used to say? Like spitting some lyrics or something or something. Something like that. Spitting some lyrics. That's what they say, isn't it? Do they? Spitting some bars. Can I borrow ah. them? I'm going to MC. I'm going to spit some bars. Yeah, yeah. Got to MC. <laughs> you sounded a little bit like um, what's her name? Um, Alicia Dixon from Mystique. Alicia Dixon. Yeah. That's what she. She was the MC for um, what was her band? Mystique. Mystique. Yeah. Yeah. I was listening to her uh, when I was driving in the car the other day and I was like, oh, Miss Mystique. So you can see it here. So this is the one that I've, I've made, but these are all other ones I've produced using the same technique. So this is um, one using that sort of round circular um, blossom. And then the, uh, I've used two different colors on that one. This one I've just used white. And then this one here has been using this um, sort of and pointed um, layer. So again, I've used two white there. And you can just keep building that up. So you could put multiple um, layers of this all the way around, just gluing them to make the little um, flowers. So they tend to need a little bit of um, fiddling around with, for want of a better term, just to move <laughs> all of the petals out of the way. So obviously, when you, you're going to be using them and putting them together, you might just want to flatten them out just to get that right, that same kind of shape that you want. And you'll see, as you start putting them together, like this one could do with some more petals on here, because I can see it's looking a little bit lopsided. But you can actually build these up to becoming quite large kind of um, flowers. So that's um, one of the flowers that we've got here. So I'm going to put that one to one side. And I'm going to make some more because oh. I just love these. <laughs> Are the yellow finger things comfortable, says Bubble and Squeak, because they seem a good idea. They, they, they are comfortable. They can get a little bit sweaty after a while. It's like wearing a pair of rubber gloves. You're absolutely right. But yeah, they are really good. They do, they, there is a, a smaller one that comes, which is just too small for my fingers. Um, so it's, it's up to you. But these are quite, they're actually quite useful for sewing anyway, because yeah. they do protect. And they also sort of lift up um, the needle. So if you're using something that's um, you know, got a very fine needle and you need a little bit of grip, but you don't want to use a metal um, a sort of thimble and you don't need something rigid to sort of push your needle through you just want something to protect your fingers so if you do a lot of hand sewing I find that my, the, my fingers get quite sore um, over time and it's not because I'm actually um, pricking my finger with the needle it's just the fact that you're touching that needle over and over again and yeah. pulling through it so these are really good they're, they're well worth having so what I'm going to do now is I am going to use some of these to make a rose so this is the rose shape um, where are my dies? so the dies that we're going to use for the rose are these ones here so you've got this um, shape here um, in three different sizes um, and what you will need to do is if you have a look at your instruction booklet get the white one open it will tell you how many you'll need um, to create your, your flower. So here, where you've got your cutting preparation, and I would definitely recommend that you um, decide the colours that you want and, the, and roughly the flowers you want, and you just spend the, you know, the, first, the first time you're making them just cutting out loads of flowers, so you've got plenty to pick from, yeah. because you'll need multiple petals to make the flowers. So for the rose, you'll need three of the small petals, eight of the medium, and nine of the large. So obviously that's going to take a little bit of time for you to cut through. But that's, that's our... Uh, that's our sort of recommendation but you can obviously make them a much smaller flower if you want to but this one is the one I suppose it's the most complicated one to make um, which is why I'm going to show you how to do it so I probably not cut out enough of my shapes to make a full rose but I've certainly got enough to get me started and what you start off with is a large petal first of all um, and for this you can use a, um, a set of tweezers if I okay. just go and grab some here. So this is quite good for sort of, um, what you're going to do is you're going to put some glue on here and then you're going to twist this round to make the centre part of your rose. So I'm going to put a bit of hot glue down here. And 
and then I'm going to take this part here and I'm just going to use my tweezers to fold it over and I'm going to roll it. Obviously take your um, tweezers out before they get glued to your mm. rows and then you get this sort of center petal and that's going to form your basis of your rows. Um, so when, because I'm using these um, these silicon things, I'm just going to I'm just going to roll this. So I've got no fear of the glue sort of sort of seeping out of this. It's going to hold it all in quite tightly. In fact, I might even try and put a little tiny bit more glue just in that space there, so it's rolled up nice and tightly here. Okay, and then you're going to start building up using your. Um, petals. So you can start with your smallest petal first of all, and again you're going to overlap um, against that, um, you know, that that previous sort of fold, and that's how you're going to put all of your rose petals together. So I'll start with one of my small ones. I'm going to place them there. Now you could, um, of course, you could just use um, some of your inks on the, the felts. You could use, um, I use a little bit of pigment powder uh -huh. that I had that I just sort of put in the very center of the rose and down these sort of parts that closest to the center of the rose. So it gave it a little bit of dimension because obviously with the felt, um, it's just sort of one, one color. But you can definitely make what you like with these and start developing them um, to make them look more natural. And as you said, the great thing about multimedia dyes is that you can use so many different materials with them and I think that's why these are proven as popular as they are because obviously if you're into your soft craft you'll be you know using the bundle as is if you're more into your paper craft you can get these of course as well to uh, use on your your card projects but I think it's a great crossover product between the two different crafts as well uh, and it might potentially encourage more soft crafters to do more paper craft and vice versa. Uh, and it's a great price today. What I would say to you is, uh, Laura May has just said, okay, I've added these into my cart. I've never done anything with any flowers, but I'm gonna give these a shot. If you have any inkling that you might like to get these, please get them today or certainly before the end of the event because you're saving 20% off and you know straight away, you're gonna get double points and you're gonna get a free gift. If this is still around come Monday when the event is finished, you'll still be able to get it, but you won't get double points and you won't get a free gift. So uh, what I would say is if you're thinking, oh, I quite like this, either get it now or certainly don't, don't wait until it's too late because yes, I think we'll have enough stock that this will roll till Monday. However, you won't get the double points and you won't get the free gift. So um, jump in as early as possible. Uh, I am mesmerized by this, says Laura. It's very um, calming sort of craft to watch, a bit like when we have the uh, Colour Me Happy shows. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Um, so I, I would normally have put more mm. roses, uh, more petals on here, um, more medium ones and more small ones, but I haven't got that many. So I'm just going to carry on with these larger ones. So I've already put the medium sized ones down. I'm just going to put the larger ones around so you can see how it develops. So beautiful. And there's, I, I just think there's so many ways ways of making you know being able to use these um, I I've, I've got um, I mean, it probably wouldn't necessarily out of felt be appropriate for a, a summer wedding I'd have to make them out of something else but mm. I did make some I did cut um, some petals out of organza um, like a gold organza to see how they would work oh yeah and that works really well um, you can make some really pretty almost ethereal kind of flowers you know if you were making like a fancy dress for a fairy that kind of thing they would mm. they would look really beautiful do you mention pigment powder a minute ago yeah so bubble and squeak says uh don't apologize when you ask questions because that's what we're here for it says what is pigment powder please in this context so pigment powder I, it's not a product that we actually sell it's a, it's a pigment powder that um I, i've got at home and it's basically um the it's, the, it's, a, it's a powder, it's powder totally made out of pigment that you would then mix with acrylic, um, an acrylic base yeah. um, or any kind of base to um, produce something. Um, so it's the kind of thing that um, sort of artists would use. Um, and it's effectively just, it's really, really, it's a little bit like if you go and buy very expensive makeup, like very expensive eyeshadow. Yeah. And it tends to be, they always talk about it being heavily pigmented. Um, it's just got so much color in it. So you just use a soft brush, you use a tiny amount, you know, 
like a couple of crumbs, as it were, and a tiny amount, and then I just sort of almost dropped it into the center of the rose and then sort of flicked it off, and it gave it quite a nice look to it. But you could do that with all sorts of things. So you could do that with, um, if you had chalks, um, you could then sort of break down the chalks, make those into that kind of thing. There's all sorts of stuff you could do. Um, and but that's all, you could ba maybe use some of your, um, your pens, you yeah. know, if you, you've got your um, Spectrum Noir pens. So you can see it looks a little bit, um, uh, you know, by, by looking a little bit flat. So you could put some other colour in there. Or you could use a different colour for that centrepiece. Um, you could maybe use one of these kind of colours and you could then intersperse um, some of those petals with um, other colours. And then once you've finished with that piece here, you're then going to cut off the, the back of it. And then you would use one of these little circles just on the back to finish it off. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to pop a couple of little leaves on there as well. So you, you would assume that if you're doing leaves you would want to put the leaves from this base part here mm. but you're not going to because you want them to be seen. So I'm going to use some of these leaves and I'm going to place them around here. So there and I think another one just up there side. Does that fly past like an ear going over the top of the studio? It does sound like it, doesn't it? There you go. So you can see how you've got that little rose there. Now what I'm going to do now is I've now got quite a few different um, flowers and I bought these from, from Dreamies um, a few a few weeks ago, a few oh, months yeah. ago as it were um, and I just, well my name's Becky so I thought I'd need a big B as you do. So wow. I thought it would be quite nice to have um, this as a, a sort of um, stand. Was that a dreamy thing? Was it? it was a dreamy thing, letters. yeah. Yeah, big, they, they do big letters. Now I thought this would be great. If you had a wedding, Mr and Mrs, yeah. you could have these um, at the table and you could then make the felt flowers according to the de design of the wedding. You know, you could mimic those kind of flowers. But I thought, I'm not going to do that because my niece's wedding is not for another year. So I'm just going to do a big B for my, for my crafting room. So I'm going to decorate this. So I've painted it already uh, in a kind of almost like a Tiffany blue um, kind of colour. Um, and I'm going to sort of start adding my flowers to it. Now I've got a few flowers I've made already. And I'm also going to use these flowers I've got here. What I've also done is I've used um, shape it also. Quite a nice bookend as well, that, it, it does, yeah. So I've used these shapes here, these little heart um, shapes, and these are the ones for the, the anemone um, design. I've cut some of those out out of green felt because they look a little bit like leaves. And then I attached them to some wire and I made them look, they look a little bit like eucalyptus um, leaves. And I'm going to use those to decorate. So I've done a few of those in different... Um, design. So I just use ordinary um, wire that I happen to have. Now, if I, um, I should have really used some floristry wire with some floristry tape around this side, so it looks green. But I didn't have any um, to hand. So all I've done is just use some silver wire that I happen to have at home, and I've created these little um, sort of leaf, leaf um, branches. I'm yeah. going to decorate um, the the bee with. And yeah. um, so it's just going to be a question of popping them on, gluing them and then using the flowers that I've made. So this is um, one of the primrose flowers that we've made. So very similar to the way, exactly the way that we've, we've described making them before. So we, I used a large pearl on this one um, with a, a center, and then I've got all those petals all going around the outside, and you can see how they've been put together. So this is the same principle as the blue one that I made in Wake Up Call that Ben's wearing at the moment. Then this is very similar, um, just in a different colourway with that sort of diamante on there. But you can see it's a same shape, same shape, same design, but looks totally different with those different sort of yeah. colourways. Then you've got your roses over here. And then we're going to use some of the um, other sort of spiky flowers. I made those little blossoms I did earlier on today. And I've also got one of these um, ones in a white. So you can see between the white, purple and the pink, they look totally so different, good. they look really different. But you can make all, all sorts of things that you want to do, yeah. um, mix and match the way that you see these fit. So I'm just going to start gluing these together and I'm going to be popping these um, sort of branches with the leaves here and there. That bee would look good in the green room for where all my stuff is, bee for 
be for Ben. That be. Haven't you got enough for me? Yeah, I, you know, I'm making your clothes. Now you're stealing my bee. I don't know. I was thinking Rude. something nice. I could, I could hang, <laughs> hang my cravat off it. You know, It'd be my little cravat. What a cravat holder. holder. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it would look. Well, you keep it for your craft room if you want. You know, don't feel but I'll just to... feel terribly guilty about no, it. No, now. no, 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 no. I think it could, this could win demo of the show anyway. Um, maybe demo of the day. Oh, I've never won demo of the day. Haven't you? No. Oh. Sad. No. no. Have you got any? Even even my chicken. Even my chicken didn't win demo of the. Even day. your what? No. Do you not do you not see my chicken that I made? No. It was a. Um, if was, I'd have known you made a chicken, I would remember that. It was quite. It was. It, I, I'm. I'm quite proud of that chicken. Why did you make a chicken? I think it must have been Easter, the Easter time. What, when I, you say you made a chicken, what do you mean? It was like a, a cuddly chicken. No, it was a. It was like an egg storage, egg storage system in the shape of a chicken, out of fabric. It. I think it. I was quite proud of it. You what know, do you mean egg storage? Well. Like you have in the fridge. Well, do you remember years ago you used to have that sort of ceramic hen that would yeah, sit yeah, on a, put, yeah. it? Was that, it had that kind of feel to it. Ah. Um, but you would put your, um, you, there was just a chicken. It was made out of um, so fabric. It was like a chicken basket. Yeah. You didn't put all your eggs in there, did you? I didn't put all my eggs in my basket, no. I'm just, I'm just going to step out of the box a second, so I just need to look. Oh, you really haven't got anything on the board? No, no, I've got nothing. For, for, quite, for quite a few months, I was, my name wasn't even on it. Very, thing, very disappointing. The thing is, the guys are giving you support from the gallery, but even if Becky wins today, it doesn't necessarily give her a star on the board, you see. No. Then Becky would have to win on Sunday as well. Yeah. I think it's going to be demo of the week. Oh, do you? Oh! What? You're winning on Sunday. I am winning on Sunday. So if you can get a win today, I mean, I would love Michelle, I would love Michelle to win, but she's already got one up there, so that's fine. She's got, she won yesterday. So if you can win today, yeah. who are you in with on Sunday? Yeah. Who are you in with? Uh, Lily. Yes, that's fine. So on Sunday, <laughs> you can be, you know, really like, oh, this one's amazing. I wonder who made this one. I'm not quite sure. This one, you vote for this one. Get people to vote for your make, and then... That you seems a little, no, rude. Sort of imply that... Doesn't it? I just, you know. No, I don't no? think so. You think I'm should calling just... this one demo of the show. I reckon it probably could be demo of the day as well. <laughs> um, and then it's over to you on Sunday. It's down to you. Uh, okay, push, all right. Push the, I've, got to, I've got to push it on Sunday. Push the vote through. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But Lily may, may make something super, super spectacular. I'm sure she will. Much more spectacular than this. Well, uh, we'll give really it a whirl. Like we'll give it, I would love to win. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's making everyone feel emotionally. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, I think even as Lily, yeah, Lily's already got a star. She won't mind. Well, should I just say, Lily, don't make any demos. Just, just. We'll just talk. Just, just talk. We'll just talk and show. Yeah. 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 There you go. Right. right so Becky Swan. You could obviously add whatever you like to it, but oh, that one's not stuck on properly. A bit more glue there. Hold on a second. But there's one of the things you can make with using. So this is just using um, all of those different dyes made out of felt. Um, you can make it out of all sorts of different fabric. You can maybe make it out of leather. Um, but yeah, really fantastic thing for you to be able to do. And they do cut out of card. I did cut some out of card earlier on today. They cut perfectly well. Um, so you could then sort of just put these together in, in effect the same sort of way as we've done before with the fabric ones. But they may, may just sort of need a little bit of movement um, in them if you're going to be using them on your on your cards. Um, I love it. I really love that. Uh, Lillian Kwok says, B for Ben. That's what I'm telling you. But to be fair, uh, you know, B for Becky as well. B for and Becky and Ben. And, Be and Becky. Huh? Becky, Becky and Becky, Ben. Becky, Becky and Ben. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I've already got the cravat off Becky as well. But yeah, hold on a minute. So uh, you've, got a I've, you've got a cravat. What have I got from you? Have you brought me any gifts in? I think the answer is um, no. I bought some Haribo out of the machine. I, I you did, you did. You, you did feed me Haribo last time I was in. Yeah, I bought yeah, some more did. in this time. And I fixed the vending machine today oh. as well. Uh, well, well that, that's, so I brought that's you the gift need. of vended treats. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I'll bring you some soup in next time. I'll make a nice soup. Oh, OK. I can make you a card. Yeah, make me a card. It's my birthday, birthday soon. Him? 20th. Of this month? Yeah. Ah, oh, there's loads of birthdays in... I know. So, um, I think um, Craig's yeah. the 21st, Debbie's the 21st, yeah. I'm the 20th. Yeah. Well, I'll make you a card. Thank you. And some soup. OK. What's your favourite soup? Um, caviar soup. <laughs> No, I, I love st broccoli and Stilton. Mm. A lady after my own art there. Mm. I'll put it in your card. Thank you. Um, the rose looks lovely, says Jenny. Um, wonderful flower, says Irina. Uh, how pretty, says Emma Cat on Facebook. It's gorgeous, right? Um, gorgeous creations, Becky, says Mary Pat, 1,000. Um, this is the bundle. By the way, the frame that we've got here which Liam decorated the blog post for that thank you Susie for letting me know that is now live um, so if you want to find out more about how this was created uh, the blog post is now live on our website and indeed uh, I think on the crafters uh, club inspire page um, on the socials as well so you can find out more details about that but come on whether you're a soft crafter um, or maybe you are a paper crafter who wants to become a, become a soft crafter, uh, this bundle is absolutely for you because the multimedia dies are going to allow you to create f uh, flowers across a whole host um, of different materials. And the deal is fantastic because you've got the two die set, so you've got your uh, beautiful blooms, 14 dies there, you've also got 13 dies within your fabulous florals, so plenty to be playing with. And we even give you uh, a bumper set of your felt as well. So that is 17 sheets um, of your different coloured felt. 24 centimetres by 22 um, is the size of that. And then to kind of make the deal even better, we're going to give you your um, accessories here. And these are great for the fact that you're going to get uh, your brooch backs in there. You've got those. You've got your um, lobster clips. You've got your key rings in there. Plus you've got uh, felt balls. And you've also got um, some white ribbon included too. So plenty of extra accessories to go with that collection. And I'm going to shove this one into shot because if you buy this set, you also qualify for today's free gift, which is that really cool tote bag. Um, I'm pushing this one today because I think a lot of you will want to go for it. And, and whilst I do think this will be available maybe a few days down the line, what won't be available to you is your free gift. Like, if, if, for example, if you come back and pick this up tomorrow, I mean, you will get a free gift tomorrow, but you won't get this free gift. Um, and if you wait a few more days, if you wait until the start of next week, you'll probably still be able to get this collection, but you won't get the free gift and you won't get double points. So if you have any kind of um, hankering to get this collection, get it today for £33.59 or $45.20 um, and get, you know, decorating up your life. I mean, seriously, how gorgeous are these creations? The kind of things that you can do uh, for all sorts of um, occasions, for all sorts of home decor pieces, uh, for cards, for boxes. The wreath here, again, absolutely stunning. And of course, you know, with all of the different materials that you have, you'll be able to create wreaths for all all sorts of different occasions love that brooch there as well you know if you're looking to create brooches for weddings uh, corsages uh, you know flowers for little buttonholes you can do that as well um, I, I just think it's such a wonderful wonderful comprehensive collection don't miss out on it today plenty of you are jumping in and grabbing it uh, <laughs> uh, woohoo Becky's presenting on Sunday says Gilmore cool it is cool you're a bit nervous, aren't you, saying that? But I think you're going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm really nervous. So I'm doing Saturday and Sunday. But yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I spoke to Joe on the phone. Joe said, what are you doing this weekend? Should we meet up? And I went, no, I'm doing your shifts because you've got the date the weekend off. What is he like? <sighs> I know, so rude. So rude. Uh, talking of rude, Sarah Kay says, uh, <laughs> lol, you tell him, Becky. Ben is wearing two of your makes. Ben needs to up his game, lol. So I've got the... Yeah, you know, the... The, the party, the uh, soup, but, uh, the cards. Uh, uh, I, I, I think you threw the word party in there. I said soup and card. Is that, that constitutes a party as far as I'm concerned. Is it? Yeah, soup and a card. So, I mean, yeah. how the other half live, eh? <laughs> soup and a card, party! <laughs> Um, Liam's project is lovely, says Mary. Yes, it is gorgeous, and you can find out more about it on the website. Uh, moving on to the next collection, which I know we're going to have a little look at here, um, which, again, is fantastic because you're going to get uh, some freebies within this set. It's your mini patchwork template, so you've got a whole host, uh, again, of different templates that you're going to use for, well, a whole host of different projects, um, 
These are all two and a half, I think two and a half, half inches, all designed to fit on a two and a half inch strip for you. Uh, so it makes it nice and easy to work with. You've got a, a whole different uh, collection um, of different shapes that you're going to be getting here. So you've got your tumbler, honeycomb, hexagon, 45 degree diamond, uh, jewel, square, half hexagon, there's tons. And this on the back here just shows you a few of the different um, uh, patchwork designs that you can make with this collection. The actual... Um, set itself includes loads of inspiration within it and you've also got uh, a video um, included with this as well so um, step by step tuition as far as that is concerned what i love about this collection the most not only again is this under 20 pounds or under 24 dollars if you're platinum but we throw into the mix for free i'm sure that's free isn't it i'm sure that is uh yeah. it is isn't it yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why I was doubting myself then. For free, uh, your rotary cutter, which is phenomenal. Really handy tool to have. Um, lovely quality uh, 45 mil cutter um, that you are getting for free within this set. What a super tool to pair this up with. Uh, you're getting it all for just £20 or $23.96. Plus, you'll get your little bag as well. And your uh, yeah, you, two, yeah, you, you could pop your bits and pieces in there. Your little rotary tool could go in the bag. How handy is that? You could probably fit your templates in there as well. Look, that's a, look, at that, look at that as a little bundle you're going to get there. Amazing. Uh, double points. Uh, so you can pick that one up today. Uh, right, keep the questions coming in. Bernie says, Ben, can you make one for me? Card. Mine is on the 15th. All great people were born in June, yeah. says Bernie. David Beckham. Yeah. Declan, Dec Declan Donnelly. Right. Me. Yeah. Craig. Craig. Debbie. Yeah. I wasn't. Awkward. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> not even going to say. Tumbleweed. Oh, not all the great people. That's outrageous. <laughs> anyway. The uh, Queen was born in June. Huh? The Queen was born in June. Yeah. Wasn't she? Yeah, so, so there you go. All the best people. I wasn't. Not all about you, Ben. Um, so, templates. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought I'd do something a little bit different with the templates. So, you've seen me use these before, and I've used them in the normal way you'd use them for templates. But I thought this time I'd make mini bunting necklaces because <laughs> it is the Jubilee weekend. Wow. And, you know, you, you need Can I have one? <laughs> Do you, do you want to wear this one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, hold, hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, I was coming to you. Are you coming no, over? I'm coming to you. I'm okay. coming to you. There you go. You Thank can wear... You. You can wear. <laughs> um, how many of my mates can you wear in for one show? <laughs> I feel like... Uh, I feel a bit like a Morris dancer or something now. I don't know why. Did you just need to... Did you not post a, a video of you? Not Morris. I did there post was, a video of Morris dancers. Dancing. A little while ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, carry so, on. So th these are your patchwork templates. So you could use these for all sorts of different things. As Ben was say saying, they fit perfectly on a two and a half inch strip roll. So they're really, really useful, really ideal. Now, um, these are what they look like. They've all got um, little holes in them. Um, up here um, on the corners and um, these are ideal if you've got something where you're going to be doing a Y seam you can mark here with your heat erasable pen and you know when to start and stop stitching so it makes sure that everything's nice and neat they also come with a large hole here so you can just put these all on a um, like a, a, a ring uh -huh. um, so you can store them like that so you can just have them hanging up inside your craft room so you don't have to put them away you can have them all um, looking out looking out as it were now I'm going to be using this um, this is the equilateral triangle it looks a little bit different from the other ones because I've used some of our spray on it um, to give it a bit of grip um, because that's really quite useful useful so obviously in here you've also got your little booklet which shows you how to use it and it will show you different kinds of makes you can be producing mm -hmm. using this but I'm just going to be using this and some of our blue fabric so I've got two layers of blue fabric here huh? so if I show you what the spray looks like so um, that's not the one I wanted it's falling down hold on one second 
So this is the spray that I use. So this is the spray and stay. Yeah. So this is the one that um, you spray onto the back of your rulers um, or templates, and it just makes sure that everything sticks, you no, know, sort of stays put. So if I show you, for example, this is one that hasn't got any spray on it, so it moves a little bit. This is the one with the spray on it, and I can't move it. And it's not going to damage the fabric, but it just means that when you're cutting something with a rotary cutter, it's a little bit easier um, if you've got some of this spray um, on the back of your, your, your template. So I'm going to find my rotary cutter, which I dropped on the floor. And then I'm just going to put, place my fingers on the um, template, and I'm going to run my rotary cutter around. I'm just going to turn my cutting mat so if you've got a rotating cutting mat um, it's ideal on this situ situation but I'm just going to turn my small um, cutting mat around so I'm just going to cut all the way around so nice and simple so this is um, ideal if you don't have um, a die cutting machine or you don't have the space for to get your die cutting machine out um, and it just work no it goes through like butter when you've got your new um, mm. rotary cutter here and then that's cut out perfectly yeah. so what we're going to do is we're going to stitch around here so I'm going to put a pin in here and I'm going to stitch around two sides first of all and I'm going to turn everything out the other way so we're going to make this little mini bunting now you can make obviously I'm making mini bunting necklaces but you can make mini bunting for all sorts of things yeah. it would actually be really nice at Christmas um, hanging on the tree if you made like mini bunting in oh, Christmas well, fabrics yeah. Um, and nice and quick to make if you're going to be using um, some of our um, templates in order to cut them rather than cutting them by hand. So I'm just putting my quarter of an inch foot on my machine. Uh, just to go back to your, uh, all the best people have their birthdays in June. Lynn Harvey's birthday was on the 1st of June. Oh. I mean, she, she's, uh, yeah, we like Lynn. That, that goes, goes to prove it. And Lynn shares her birthday with Jason Donovan. <gasps> I love Jason Donovan. So yeah, I mean your your yeah your June thing is about right. Um, and then also says I love the little bunting. Is that my birthday present? I'm being cheeky, I know. It's mine now, isn't it? <laughs> mine. I think you've acquired quite a lot from me so far. Yeah. It's a bit rude as far as I'm concerned. There you go. I, but I'm going to make you soup and a card for your birthday. Yeah, soup and a card. Yes. Bubble and Squeak says perhaps Ben, you could make Becky a floral headband. I might do actually. I'd wear it. Would I'd you though? Because you're so used to wearing a crown. Yeah, I mean, but flowers can be a crown as well. Mm. No, like I could be Queen Titania, Queen of the Fairies. Queen Titania, Queen yeah. of the Fairies. Queen of Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh no. Yeah. No, but no. far too highbrow for me. Okay, so I've just stitched um, round here, and then I'm going to trim it because um, obviously this is quite small. And then I'll turn it round the right way, or right inside out, as it were, around the right way. And that this is um, when you're probably going to need to use, I tend to use a little pin, just to poke out that little point uh -huh. on the bunting. Like so, maybe use a pen. Let's see what we've got here. I just want to uh, pull out that little point. Go on. It's not, it's not wanting to go, is it? No. It's, do you know what? I, I'm being too lazy to go and get my pen, which is just Don't down by what? my feet. I have a pen that's quite useful for mm. doing this, but there you go. So I'm just pulling that out. And then um, this is, I just give this a bit of a roll, this seam. I'm going to make my fingers slightly damp, and I'm just going to roll that like that, and that will then flatten out that seam. And then you would want to give this a bit of a press, um, so you've got a nice sharp. Um, point. Then you want to fold this piece over um, and this piece here um, so you can then stitch um, by hand to finish that off and then your little um, bunting will look like this. Yeah, cute. So then we, I've, already, I've already done some bunting so I've used, um, I think we said we had this fabric in the blue, this um, Union flag. We have got that in blue yeah. definitely, yeah. Um, so I only had um, white at home but I've stitched all of those in exactly the same way and so now it'll just be a question of putting these together Red that one. That's such a cool idea. I so you it. could obviously make loads of this and you could yeah. hang it up 
um, and, and I think it looks quite nice over a Christmas tree. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to um, stitch these together. Now I've also got a few beads I'm going to use. Um, and what I'm also going to use is I'm going to use um, a really big needle. So this is a needle that I purchased when I was making, um, we, we were making teddy bears um, a few months oh, ago. Yeah. And these are really great for sort of doll making because they're really wide, really long. Um, so you, I've got some others which are sort of twice as long, but this one's ideal for going through all of these. And I'm using quite a thick thread. Um, so this is um, uh, an, ordinary, an ordinary sort of um, polyester thread but it's quite strong it's a bit thicker than the normal thread that I'm using and I just want because I'm using if you've made um, jewellery before you'll know that you want to use um, threads that's a little bit stronger yeah. um, than ordinary thread um, now I'm just going to thread this needle like so and I'm going to put a large bead at the end and I'm just going to tie a rough knot in it like so so it's just going to hold everything together now i want to use the smaller beads um, really for making the necklace so i'm just going to thread a smaller bead on and then I a, did i not have another blue one what have I done with my other blue one maybe not maybe i only had that many um, and then i'm going to go through with this needle um, where i've sort of sewn the um Thing together, the, the bunting together, and I'm just going to go around the outside, so, uh, so it goes all the way through. So you can see that it's much quicker than mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to sort of stitch through if you're using a normal size um, needle. And then I'm just going to work my way, sewing a little bead in between. Okay. A um, few comments coming, lots of comments coming through actually. Joy Sampson's joined us. Um, lovely Joy says this is my first softer side. Hi, oh, lovely Joy welcome. from Riverdale. Um, hi, Ben. Hi, Becky. Um, Diane says, I've just ordered the flowers. I took early retirement at the beginning of the year. I think I might have to go back uh, to fund my crafting. Um, and Jack, talk about best people having their birthdays in June. Janet Bradley's birthday is today. And she said, I keep oh, it kind of quiet. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. birthday. To you, Janet. I hope you're celebrating. Me too. Becky, you look gorgeous, says Joy Sampson. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, Mum Four Boys on YouTube. Uh, you, the Queen was born in April, like Ben and me. Yeah, her official birthday's in April, isn't it? And like her, like, so her actual birthday's in April. Yeah, um, but they, but they, they were sorry for her for having a birthday in April, so they gave her a birthday in June because all the best people have a birthday in June. Is that not right? Did you hear that, Mum Four Boys? <laughs> she's, she's dissing April babies. Don't no, forget I'm the Queen. I'm not. I'm not. Bubble and she is. She is. Bubble and Squeak says, "Don't forget the Queen." Uh, a Queen. Sarah and I were all born in April. Oh, Sarah. Yeah, sorry, Sarah was. Yeah, yeah. of course. This is Sarah. And Sa she is Sa the Queen of Craft. She is. She was born on the 23rd of April. Bubble and Squeak, you were born in April. I was born in April. The Queen was born in April. June is her official birthday, not her birth. Oh, so mean. All the best people born in maybe April. Um, uh, Pavel said, this is absolutely adorable, Becky, and love the new multimedia flower dies, says uh, Amelia Sirocco. Thank you. If you love them, grab them because, as I've said, I mean, whatever you love, grab them today because chances are there will be stock left come the start of next week, but you won't get double points on your purchases and you won't get uh, the free gift either. So um, if you see something you love today, I would advise you to jump in and grab it. Uh, Joy Sampson also saying, loving the vest, Ben. Thank you. Um, I mean, all of the adornments that I've got on me today are pretty much thanks to uh, Becky over the other side of the studio because I've got uh, the um, little rosette there. I won um, best in show earlier <laughs> on. I've also got the, this is what Becky's making right now. Do you actually want this back? So you, oh. No, you can, you can okay. have it if you want. So I've got that and I've got What are you going to do with it? If I, uh, what are you going to do with it? Hang it up in, on my drawers in the, in the dressing room. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's all right, I don't mind that. Uh, this I'll, this I'll probably wear on air. Just yeah. To say, oh, I'm the best. best in better show. than all the rest. Be best, better, better what? You're best. You're the best. Better than all the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Better than all the rest. Uh, um, obviously got my cravat as well. So. So I've done most of that. Um, I'm just going to get a piece of ribbon. Um, so I'm just going to work out the piece of ribbon, and I'm going to stitch that onto here. So I'm going to fold my rib ribbon and do a little bit of a knot just here and then I'm going to stitch that 
um, onto my bunting. There we go, just here. Did anyone else think as well with this? Because my um, Daisy, not so much now, she's a bit older, but she used to have like um, a doll's house when she was younger. I think this would be quite cute for the oh, kids. Oh yeah, well. that'd be great, wouldn't it? Deco in a little doll's house. It'd be quite it nice. might be a bit big for a doll's house. Doll's house is quite, but in a kid's room, you know, it would be quite, you know, around, actually around a um, bookcase, I think is the, you know, that, that kind of bunting is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I think actually that bunting would look very nice around the bee that you made for me, the big, the big bee. How much stuff can <laughs> Ben get in one show? <laughs> Honestly, you're terrible, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> It's only because I love all of the stuff that you make, you see. Yeah. It's kudos to you, isn't it, really? Yeah. The fact that you put all this amazing stuff together. And I yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm going to fold this bit of ribbon over and then finish that off here and just sew that together. And then that will be my bunting necklace finished. You can wear that one if you want. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I will wear it because I, I need some kind of festive Jubilee stuff to wear for this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got your rosette. I've got my, yeah, my, my best, in, best, best in breed. Best in breed. Best breed. <laughs> I, I do feel like I'm in crafts, but um, it's we're, okay. We're not in crafts, we're in crafts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> I'm here all week. Oh, I'm not, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm here right. for the rest of the day. <laughs> Shannon says Becky should make Ben a crown, lol. Yes. <laughs> I like that idea. Shannon, that's my favourite comment of the day. Congratulations, you've won the goodie bag. No, you haven't really. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, yeah. No, she's made a lot for me, actually, as, um, as Becky, and I'm very Well, you kept, you kept going on every time I did a show with you. Well, in fact, every time you did any kind of show, you would, you would mention the fact, because I think when I made you that cravat, I was watching a show you were doing you with were. Colin. Yeah. And um, then you were, you were complaining I that I hadn't made Colin, you anything. I Yeah, and I was like, right. I'll make him. I'll make him something that would keep and him quiet. And that was on. The, I think that was on the Tuesday. And bless Becky. By the Thursday, it, this was in my. Um, yeah. It was in my drawer in, in the green room, which I thought was the sweetest thing ever. So I wore it. That was then. I wore it the next day. And then you overheated. I overheated. I wasn't actually feeling very well um, over that, those two days. So I think it might have been more that I had a bit of a. But it is. It is quite. I mean, it's not very breathable. It should be no. silk, really. But I didn't yeah. have any silk to hand yeah. at the time. So I've just stitched on that. So that is my little bunting necklace finished. Um, ready for you to wear for a Jubilee party. Yay! I love it. Absolutely brilliant. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll recap on this deal. And do you want to line up all of your mates over there? And we'll get yep. everyone to vote for their uh, favourite. And then I'll just kind of recap on some of your favourite deals over the course of the show. But this deal is brilliant because... You've got all of the um, different shapes within the template set for you here. So your mini patchwork uh, template um, sets. So they're all designed to fit on your two and a half inch uh, fabric strip roll. And you've got them in a variety of different um, shapes as well. So tumbler, honeycomb, hexagon, your dual square, half square triangle, quarter square triangle. Uh, you've got your 45 degree diamond, half hexagon, equilateral and half rectangle triangle, plus your 60 degree diamond as well. Not only have you got um, top tips and full instruction in there, but there's also a link to a step-by-step -step video which I think will be super handy for you too um, and then on top of that as a freebie we're giving you your 45 mil rotary cutter as well so it's a brilliant bundle to go for is that and once again it's a huge saving you're saving 21.99 or 29.95 so that's under 25 pounds under 30 dollars if you're platinum comes down to 19 pounds 99 or 23 dollars 96 double points for all of our club inspire members that will also qualify you for your free bag as well that's today's free gift if you spend over 10 pounds or 10 dollars the rotary cutter will pop into there very nicely indeed as will um, a lot of those templates as well so i think it's a really really uh, lovely way to pick that uh, free be up um, and don't forget as well if you are not yet a club inspire member that you can join up for free on our website if you do it before end of play sunday you will receive a free five pound dollar or euro uh, credit into your account before i just recap on some of the uh, other deals that we've got on the show let's get the vote going if you've missed the show uh, let us recap with becky what she's made number them up please so number one is the sewing organizer which i've redesigned into a jubilee picnic bag um, so you can fit your sandwiches and pork pies in there. Um, number two is the, um, the, the initial with the felt flowers um, that we made, including some of the, um, the little leaves. And then number three is my um, little 
bunting necklace um, ready for the Jubilee weekend. Ooh, one, two or three. I reckon you've got around five minutes to get your vote in um, on that one. Uh, Lynn Harvey says, I love the bunting necklace. They're all really good makes, to be, to be fair, actually. They're all sort of very different. Um, but it's over to you to get voting. Uh, I'm going to recap in just a second on um, a few of the goodie bags that we had yesterday. Oh, by the way, um, I just quickly throw this in. I know loads of you have commented. It's been a really busy softer side, uh, but this mystery bag here, or goodie bag, I should say, will be giving away in uh, launch day from six o'clock. Um, basically, it's full of goodies. I'll, I'll, if we get time for the end of the show, I'll show you. Uh, but if you make a comment on Facebook or YouTube, um, we could be picking you to win that goodie bag uh, before the end of the day today. And we're doing it again tomorrow and also on Sunday. All you've got to do is send in a comment uh, like you normally would do on any normal day. Um, very quickly, just want to recap on the uh, builder block that we've got on the show for you as well. Uh, this one is your uh, bejeweled delight. And what's great about this, of course, again, is that you get everything that you need to be able to create all of these different blocks. And it's like a three in one because you've got um, all of the projects in there as well. Um, exclusive designs in here as well, because we um, worked with uh, Karen Lewis with this uh, particular collection uh, to bring you it. Uh, it's a bespoke set. You've got your multimedia dies in there. Once again, five multimedia dies within this collection. Um, and then, as we said, you've got the um, the instructions in there, the instruction booklet, which will show you how to make uh, the designs on the front of your packaging as well. So 20% saving, £22.39 or $25.57 and double points on that one for you as well. Just to uh, quickly recap on some other goodies that we had yesterday on cartload we've rolled them over because we just wanted to make sure that so many of you um, could get these. The stamping bundle so all of these are worth over 50 pounds over 60 dollars uh, and we've smashed the price down to 25 pounds 25 dollars platinum members 20 pounds or 20 dollars specifically put together by lily actually it was a lily cart load yesterday um, all of these hand picked by her for you so in the stamping uh, mystery bag you're going to get everything i'm about to show you if you do buy more than one you will get duplicates just to let you know so one of my favorite stamp and die sets uh, from recent times you've got that gorgeous uh, build a bouquet stamp and die set that one is called Enjoy Your Day. So in total, it's 27 stamps and dies. Uh, basically, all of the stamps there that you can uh, colour in and then use the accompanying dies to cut out to build your own mini bouquets. She's also popped into this bag your um, Swirly Florals stamp set. Uh, that one again, great for building up your backgrounds, great for uh, making your frames with as well because you've got a selection of different sort of uh, textured designs in there and you've got your on your special day sentiment. Then in this set, we've got some of your uh, layering stamps. This one's the Violet Roses. So just choose the different colours that you want to work with. Uh, quick dry ink pads, of course, work best with this particular set. And then you're going to get on top of that your stencil in there that you can run through the middle of your bouquet to leave your sentiment. There's uh, butterflies and flowers in here as well with that five piece beautiful butterfly set. And then lastly, uh, I think Lily's favorite in this set was that gorgeous uh, terrarium, 20 pounds or $20 uh, plus double points. And all of these uh, mystery bags will bring you your um, tote bag today as well. That one's proving popular. Uh, also very popular indeed is the Nature's Garden collection. Um, I said earlier on we were limited on this. It's not this. I think it's the um, other collection that we're limited on. This one, we're just about over half the stock um, uh, gone of. So still plenty of time for you to jump in and grab it. But what are you going to get? Well, you're going to get all of this gorgeous cardstock from the Nature's Garden collection. A lovely, lovely um, color palette. But what I love most about this, 32 sheets, a4 design and you're getting a mixture of your it's difficult to pick it up on camera but you you you'll see it when you get this home you've got um, a selection of your linen uh, textured card and then on top of that as you can see there you're getting that um, pearl finish card as well so a selection of linen and the pearl texture in all of those beautiful colors 32 a4 sheets that's the first item that you're going to get in your bag and remember if you do order more than one uh, you will have duplicates then we're going to give you uh, my favorite stamp and dice set, I think, uh, I love this one. It's, uh, what's it actually called? 
enjoy the ride it's the pickup truck uh, which you've got the dies and the stamps for uh, and then you can stamp out there's little flowers you can pop in the back of the truck there's a the little bunny rabbits as well which are super cute and also from that farmhouse collection you're going to get that gorgeous uh, six by six wreath embossing folder and then uh, two more items in this bag as well from the secret garden collection you've got that enchanted door stamp and die set and then from the autumn collection the autumn blessings we've got a selection of uh, beautiful sentiments as well uh, stamp sentiments so again that is 20 pounds or 20 dollars um, if you're a platinum member also qualifies you for your free gift today and then the last goodie bag to show you is the flower forming this one was by far the most popular and it's been very very popular again today too um, it's basically a starter collection for anyone who wants to get into making um, flowers because you've got two sets of your flower forming foam in the 9 by 12 so um, you've got a set of your white so seven sheets in there so you can ink these up and create whatever colors that you want I mean if you just want to create um, gorgeous white flowers absolutely go ahead you've also then got uh, 12 sheets of the spring hues included too so 19 sheets in total of your flower forming foam then we give you the tools so I mean you've got everything that you need right here just to give it a go at a knockdown price three different tools six different size um, balls if you like and then you've also got your um, your mat in there as well to make sure that you're going to get the uh, the best result each and every time uh, and then we give you the tools to be working with as far as the dies are concerned. So you've got this uh, die set here, three piece die set, um, which is your uh, clover. We're giving you the foliage there as well. You've got five dies in total right there. And then just to finish it all off, you've got 400 of our stamens, the metallic stamens in different colors too. So that's a really, really quick bundle. And it is just like a, um, a starter set for your flower forming uh, foam. And indeed, you've got the tools there to get you know, flower forming with your papers, of course, as well, or if you want to flower form with your vellum or tissue, whatever it might be. Uh, thank you for the results, by the way, on the demo of the show. I'll do that in just a second. I have the result in front of me. I can confirm you've won. Well, you have to wait, George. I'm building up the suspense. <laughs> George's like, which one is it? Which one is it? Is it, is it, is it the B? I'll tell you after this short break. No, we're going to do the lucky dip first, and then I'll, sh and then I'll show you. That's not a lucky dip. I've done that one. Yeah, lucky dip's this one. Just making sure you're on your toes in the gallery there. Um, so the lucky dip. I love those pencils. I might have to do a lucky dip. I think you should. Yeah. Because the, these, I, th oh, I don't know off the top of my head. I want to say. They're at least a tenner. Yeah. At least. I think they're probably more. Um, and they're in the lucky dip. So five times you can dip without getting repeats. If you dip more than that, you could get repeats. But as I said earlier on, and I said yesterday, you wouldn't be that um, unhappy, would you, if you got two lots of these? No. Great. Um, so, yes, this is just a selection, a smorgasbord as to what you could receive if you, if you get dipping. Uh, that Dear Friend stamp and die set is in there. We've also popped in patented, patented technology uh, in our, um, our double-sided dies, create a card, double-sided dies, that is worth, I, I wanna say that's worth around 20 pounds, $22, and you could potentially pick that up for 240. Um, so get dipping, five times max without getting repeats. If you dip more than that, you could get repeats, but again, what's the worst that could happen? You get a repeat, you can work twice as fast with a particular die, you've got them that you can give to a friend as a birthday or a Christmas present. Um, Remember all of the reasons to be shopping with us today, which I'll tell you in a second, uh, but a few messages before we do the demo of the show. Kathy Lear says, thank you everyone. What a great show today. I love all the sewing tips that Becky shares with us. Oh, thank you. I've loved all the demos, Becky, says Sue Greenall. I will try making a bunting necklace after the show. Oh. If you do, by the way, do make sure you send us the pics. You can um, message all of us on our pages. So if you want to um, find Becky's page on Facebook, for example, Becky's at, at Becky Swan CC and you can yeah. like and follow yeah. and leave pictures. Yeah, absolutely. It's always nice to see what people are making with uh, the, the products that we've got here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely send me some pictures. We'd love that. Um, and Janet Bradley says, I'm also going to do that bunting necklace too. How oh, festive. Excellent. But what was the winner? Was there three there was, wasn't there? There was three, yeah. The bunting necklace was three, wasn't it? Yeah. That's not the winner. Oh. oh. The bag was number one, wasn't it? Yeah. The bees won. Hi. Number two. 
Where did I put it? Where did you do with it? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's big enough. You can't lose it. That's amazing. There you go. Becky. Love that. Love that. Um, that's going to go up on to the Crafty Walk of Fame. Could be voted as the demo of the show, uh, demo of the day rather, a little bit later on. If it's the demo of the day, go through to the demo of the week. Becky's never got a star on the board before. So you might no. want to vote for that later on. I tell you what, if I do get a star on the board, I'm going to make it the biggest star yes. on there. Yes, yeah. and you should maybe decorate it with some flowers. Yes, mm. yeah, good idea. Mm. It'll, be a, it'll be a flower on the board yeah. rather than a star. Yep. Thank you for a lovely show. <laughs> Thank you. And um, just to recap, you're back. I'm back. When? Tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm 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 over there. Yeah. I'm over on that other side of the um, the studio tomorrow, so I'll be presenting um, all weekend. So I've got Michelle with me tomorrow, and then I've got Lily with me on Sunday. Well, you are going to be fabulous. Thank you. Um, I'm sure, and I know you guys will be tuning in to, uh, to watch as well. Um, yeah, Becky will be back with you all weekend on the presenting side of things uh, with Michelle tomorrow. And talking of Michelle, she is coming up in just uh, a couple of hours' time. We're back for uh, what is going to be a brilliant launch of some brand new dyes that I know you'll want to get your hands on. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the team. Thank you especially to Becky. And uh, get those baskets and carts checked out. Enjoy all of the Jubilee festivities that we've got for you. And we'll see you in a couple of hours. Bye for now.